Ladies and gentlemen of the Natural Hair Care Jury, hi, I am Haley Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Alphabet Series video. First of all, I cannot tell you how happy I am <laughs> to be back on my channel, y'all. I think I did like two personal challenge update videos and like that's it, like no hair content. Y'all, from the time I started school, we going into, this is halfway through the fourth week of school. Y'all, I haven't done like a wash day since I started school. Now, yes, I have, you know, shampooed and conditioned my hair and stuff, but y'all, we need this wash day. Now, this is an alphabet series video. We are on the letter U. U is for Uncle Funky's daughter. I've already showed you the products that I'm going to use, so y'all, we just going to get into it. Y'all, I'm almost scared to do this wash day on camera, like I'm scared. We're going to start with the shampoo. This is the Rich and Funky Moisturizing Cleanser, sulfate-free and color-safe with comfrey, rosemary, kelp, willow bark, and marigold. This is a eight fluid ounce bottle. This is how it looks, but we did not have a protective seal. It smells a bit citrusy. Y'all, I hope it's moisturizing because I just, I need everything. Moisture, moisture, moisture. My hair is dry, it's dried out. I made sure I had a lot of water in my hair since I'm not doing this in the shower. This is my first time trying this brand. And this is the first product that I've ever tried from this brand. So I like the lather. It is light. It's a light shampoo. It says it's moisturizing, but y'all, I can't even tell because... My hair is so dry and dried out. Uh, I can't really vouch for the moisture like at the second. Like I said, it feels like a light shampoo. I feel like I want to put in just like a little, a little dab, just at the root, just a little dab to just kind of get in there. Y'all, I'm expecting a whole bunch of shedding. I don't want to mess with my hair too much and be bald head by the time I finish the wash day. I don't I can't really measure it in quarter sizes because it's thin. But a half a palm for we looking at I don't know what at least 50 cent, y'all. At least 50 cent. Alright. And I did spray extra water in the front of my hair. So and you can immediately see how this shampoo reacts with the water to give me a really good lather but this shampoo feels so light um i still can't speak on the moisturizing maybe it's something that i will notice when i rinse out but um so far it just seems like a light cleanser back this is how my hair looks with the cleanser rinsed out I want to move on to the next step and I'm going to save my comments for all of the products like until the end. My hair is shedding like it's allergic to my scalp. The next step is deep conditioning, which is my favorite step of the wash day. And we are going to be using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask for natural chemically treated or heat style hair. And this is eight ounces. We do have the safety seal. Thank you, Uncle Funky's Daughter. Oh, y'all look. I feel like I've been cheated. This is an eight ounce jar, y'all, but I think I got probably about, I might have six and a half or seven ounces in here. Nice and creamy. It smells minty. Yeah, it has a minty smell. Let me just check the ingredients right quick. Okay, peppermint oil. All right, well, that's what it is, like with the minty scent. 
it's like a whipped cream almost. And y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. Like I'm I'm going in. And I'm say I be heavy handed and be having full fifths of the jaw left after I done treated my whole head. But today, mm -mm, we got to go in. I have not done any kind of detangling, not even hardly like finger detangling, y'all. My hair, mm -mm. it is very tangled. And it's, eh. I mean, it is the fact that it's tangled, but because it's so dry and tangled, that's like, that's what make it even worse. Um, Right now, I just want to apply the deep conditioner. It's almost like, um, like whipped icing. It's like that. Oh, y'all, but the mint, though, I smell it through my eyes. Ooh, it feel like it's like melting the tangles. I do feel like that. I feel like it's melting the tangles. It's definitely melting the tangles. Oh, yeah. It's definitely melting the tangles. Y'all, I'm... If I have hair by the end of this wash day, like, we all gonna be surprised. I cannot believe I have gone like all of these weeks without doing at least one like real wash day, even off camera. I need <laughs> y'all. I needed this wash day just so I could actually like do one. And I probably said this earlier if I ain't edited out, but I miss y'all so much. I ain't never missed a group of people like I miss y'all, and I'm so serious. School have taken up my entire life. As you can tell by how my hair look. I've been slacking on my hair care. I've been slacking on my skin care. I mean, of course, y'all, I've been washing my face now. But I'm just saying, like, the whole, my whole little routines and stuff, y'all, I haven't been doing none of that. I said I am going to put on a shower cap. I'm going to heat up my flaxseed thermal um thermal hat thing <laughs> i ain't using it so long y'all i don't even know what it is it's been about 30 minutes and i just wanted you to see what my hair looked like before i rinsed out the deep conditioner um when i was applying and y'all i applied way too much i got kind of like that foamy consistency and you you I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a foamy consistency. My hair did absorb the deep conditioner for the most part. I can say that. Um, I'm not sure how moisturized my hair feels. I'm not sure if this is strictly moisturizing or if it's a moisture protein balance or if it's a protein deep conditioner. Like I'm, I'm not sure. But this is how my hair looks before rinsing it out. And after about 30 minutes, I actually had two plastic caps on and the um, the flaxseed um, thermal cap. Which y'all know it only stayed warm for like a few minutes, but I'm past that y'all. The deep conditioner is rinsed out. Um, when I first was rinsing it out, I was like, oh man, this must be a protein conditioner. I didn't really feel too much moisture or softness, but now that it's like completely rinsed out, my hair feels like kind of soft. So all I did was section and pin it up. I didn't comb through it at all. We're going to do it together. I'm going to start off with this comb and I'm starting at the ends, y'all. I'm trying to, trying to remember to do that. And of course, with the wide tooth comb, I'm really just trying to be gentle with my hair. It was so tangled and just really, really dry. But the deep conditioner, um, after applying it and kind of working it in, I could feel that it was loosening the tangles. Now I'm gonna go in with my smaller tooth comb yeah, I felt it um, like loosening up the, the tangles. And after I applied it, then I went back through and actually like combed it through. Y'all, I used like way too much weight. I could have used a third of what I used and it probably would have been just right or maybe still a little bit too much. Y'all should have told me a little bit go a long way. 
And that's good though, because I do feel like I got cheated out of like one to two ounces of product, because that that wasn't full like by any means. Oh, look at that! Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? All right, so this is how my hair looks with the deep conditioner rinsed out and no product in. But we finna change that. The next step. For me is leave in and today we are using the uncle funky's daughter thirsty curls leave in curl revitalizer for kinky curly and wavy textures again eight fluid ounces well i'm just not looking at this y'all it's watery it's it's very watery spray top um can't really i don't think i don't count the top as like a protective seal but it's um it's like all the way up here, so you know, I'm pretty sure nobody messed with it. Let's see how it smells though. Hmm. It smells like lemon dishwasher liquid. Hold on, wait. Wait, y'all, that might not be right. Hold up. Oh, y'all, it have PEG 12 dimethicone. So if you are a curly girl method, like person this does have dimethicone in it i wasn't expecting that i thought that uncle Fungi's daughter was a clean brand i don't follow the curly girl method so that doesn't bother me at all the very last ingredient is fragrance but i don't know y'all i i get lemon dishwash liquid scent oh it's um uh oh y'all dang sudsy you know what that means? Don't spray a lot. So let me just put this in my hair. And I'm just going to spray this. on Because it's so like loose and watery. I'm just going to spray a little bit. And y'all please don't let this be too much. Because I feel like I need to spray like a good bit. But I do not want my hair to be sudsy. Uh oh. I see. I see a little suds action. This remind me, if this is Sudsy, this remind me of um, the Camille Rose Lavender, that leave-in. Now that stuff give me much suds, like for real. This kind of made my hair feel like harder. Okay, this is just rinsed out deep conditioner. I haven't done anything to it. Let's just kind of comb through it a little bit. I feel like I might need to spray some water just to like combat the, the suds action of the thirsty curls. Y'all, I don't I don't want suds. I don't want suds. Let me put some in the back over here too. I'm gonna just oh see it's it's like watery, but it got a it's coming out in um like more of a direct spray not like a hundred percent direct spray but it's not a, a fine mist dang y'all okay so we ain't gonna add no more to this section i'm gonna comb through and let's um let's actually like combine this in let me yeah let me just like combine this in with the back because i don't i do not want like a bunch of oh uh, y'all look at that oops let's squeeze some of that over here because y'all know i ain't trying to waste nothing there all right okay so that's this side i'm gonna clamp this up apply to the other side Oh, no, I do not like wasting nothing though. <laughs> All right, clamp this side. Let me apply the thirsty curls to the other side and I'll be back for the styler, y'all. Drum roll, please. <laughs> we are using, I am using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator for kinky curly and wavy textures. This is an 18 fluid. It is like sealed up. Let's see. There's the pop-up. And it smell like... I don't know. This smell like... Scent-free dishwashing liquid. 
Ooh, nice and like jelly. Like I like um stylers like this. I like like kind of gel like stylers. I like that. And why I put all this in my hand? And of course I ain't detangled, so I'm gonna have to apply this just to this section. And I'm sure that that was more than a quarter, but oh no, not so slow. Let's see. <laughs> let me let me like mix it all in with everything. And if I got to put more hair oil, I, it's like I hear, I hear the suds. Okay, let's just put it. My hair will be soaking wet because it's already wet. It's going to be dripping though. And you know what? <laughs> Maybe it will be a quarter size. Oh, y'all look at the suds. <laughs> uh, see y'all suds. I'm going to take like one pump. So this is one pump. Maybe the, well, that don't look like a whole quarter. It look like a, like maybe a nickel, but I'm going to just do this for this whole back section. So the, whatever I put before and like one, one pump. And that's all the product I'm going to apply to this back section. I know y'all hear that. It's just, it feel like so, so. Look, you can see it on the corner. It's just so, so, so. Y'all, please don't let it, um, I hope it don't dry like that, though. It, it's probably not going to dry, so, so y'all, but look. I put, what, the, maybe three pumps total on the back of my hair, on that, on this back row. I, but I feel like I got to, and my hair's wet, but I feel like I got to take some of this off and just, like, Put it somewhere else. All right, here is the first one. I do need to trim my ends though. I do need to do that. So I don't know. I'll do that at at some point. Y'all done seen me butcher my ends before. Trim like half the hair off my head. Y'all done seen that. So I don't think I need to do that again on camera. This is the last plait that I'm gonna do in the front. I already have the Thirsty Curls applied. I'm going to put just a little bit more water, y'all. I am so, I don't know what about these suds and this, this soapy action. This is not even like a full pump, but this is a smaller section. And I did the same thing with the plait that's just underneath them because I didn't feel like it was, you know, like a full section. I guess I could have just did one full pump on this whole thing and then divided it in half, but I didn't do that. All right. I have the Curly Magic on the whole strand. Let's just comb it through. Make sure it's evenly distributed. I wanted to show you. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> I just, I wanted to show you like the definition and like I'm down. Even with the Thirsty Curls leaving this, um, the Curly Magic, like, I like the definition. Y'all look, y'all saw that little spring right there? Like, I like the definition. I'm just not cool with these suds, though, y'all. And I'm I'm really hoping, and, you know, it's probably going to be the case where um, I don't have sudsy hair at, at the end result. I'm trying to make this plait up here even but I gotta put more hair in this front section and for my front sections I definitely have not been going all the way down with the plait just because the bottom of it is so thin so I go probably I don't know three-fourths four-fifths the way down and then I just put it on the perm rod and call it a day Y'all, my hair is so damp, though. I'm hoping that it'll be dry tomorrow because I really want to come back tomorrow and do the takedown and let you see the final results. But it might even be two days. I don't know, y'all, but I just I feel like I have to make sure that my hair is all the way dry. <laughs> and right now it is all the way damp. And uh, in the front, I usually go a little bit tighter just so you know i don't end up with a flat just a, a flat curl maybe i should do this one roll it up 
a little bit. Oh, I missed this. Wait, hold on. It was supposed to be this way. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it up just a just a little bit more. Um, yeah, it ain't look like I did nothing to it. All right, I'm using my camera just to to look. Okay, y'all. This is it. Let me turn around and show you what the back looks like. This is the wet set. I did plaits with perm rods on the end with the Uncle Funky's Daughter product. I'm going to get under this for probably about two hours or as long as I can stand it. Then I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, I'm going to check it tomorrow to see if it's dry. If it's not dry, y'all, tomorrow I'm going to let it sit one more day. And then we're going to do the takedown and we'll see the final results. All right. Let me get under the dryer. Start doing this week's homework late. And um, I will see you for the takedown and the final results.